Hi everyone, we're at uh, Monktoberfest, the Red Monk Brew in Portland, Maine, and with me I have Zach Erlocker from Zendesk. Zach, you were talking in your in your speech this afternoon about remote working. Uh, can, can you give us a little bit uh, a little bit of a kind of a summary of, of your talk? Sure. Um, I, I think what's happened is over the last ten years, internet technology has enabled us to create very powerful development teams that don't have to be located in a single building or room or city. But if you have everyone in the same room together, don't they work better? They can work very well together. But the question is, can you get the best people all in one room? And what I what we found at Zendesk and when I was at MySQL is there's phen- phenomenally talented developers everywhere in the world, and they're not all located in one city. And so if you really want to get the best and most passionate people, you want to figure out ways that you can enable them to participate in your company and sometimes that means doing so remotely or in a distributed fashion. Okay and what are the kind of challenges people face and how do you overcome some of those challenges when you've got you know remote teams? Uh, There's no shortage of challenges you know communications, time zones, all of this but I would say that there's there's a lot of tools that exist today that make it much easier to collaborate and the key notion you have to think about is that all your processes, all your documents, and effectively your personalities and social interactions have to be in the cloud. Used to be you'd have a central repository of code running behind the firewall in your company and people would get access to that. Nowadays you use something like GitHub or Bazaar and and you can have that code really be accessible from anywhere in the world and you want to use tools like Skype or Google Docs or Atlassian's uh, Jira or Confluence or Zendesk so that People can collaborate no matter where they are in the world, and frankly, no matter what time zone they're in. And that w- these tools really enable us to do the kind of distributed development that was virtually impossible to do 10 or 15 years ago. Okay, and you mentioned Zendesk, and you're from Zendesk. How do Zendesk help people? Uh, so Zendesk is a uh, cloud-based uh, customer service help desk system. Uh, it's a SaaS application. Uh, it, we have 10,000 customers around the world. And if you're tracking customer service issues or help desk issues, you can use Zendesk as a way of collaborating. And, of course, everything's cloud-based. And we have our development uh, across a couple of locations in San Francisco. And also we have a team in Copenhagen. And we enable people to collaborate. uh, Inside our company, we use lots of different tools from IRC to Yammer to Google Docs. And our customers, um, they, they also use Zendesk in collaborative fashion for teams around the world. Okay. And uh, last question, what advice would you give to any companies setting up uh, ab- about best practices for working remotely? The key thing is you, you have to start from a perspective that you will be distributed, that everything is available regardless of location. And that has certain implications in the tools that you, you, you use, uh, but it's also a, a, a mind shift. You have to think of not I have a headquarters and I have a couple people in other locations, but if you're a manager uh, of developers or you're an executive, it means you have to put yourself out there and operate uh, and do things taking into account the fact that people are distributed, you know, and just have that mindset of collaboration and enabling people to participate. Classic example is, you know, you don't want to hold a, 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 a team a collaboration meeting at 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon because that might be your time zone for, for sharing, but if you've got people in Australia, that's the next day. If you've got people in Europe, they're already do- gone. You've got people on the East Coast, they're not going to participate. So you just ca- have to think uh, at, at all times to not make assumptions of a single time zone or a single location or a single culture. And uh, if you take a few of those things into account, you, you look at some of these newer collaborative distributed tools, you can start getting uh, phenomenal participation uh, from people around the world. Super. Great. Zach, thanks a million. Okay, cheers. Cheers.